What's going on you guys? Alex here with Elevation Off Grid. Welcome back to the shop. Today, we have another truck delivery to share with y'all. Today's delivery is gonna be featuring a 2023 Star White F550 Black Edition with a color matched, Linex sprayed, Bowen Customs camper bed. We have some pretty cool options we installed on this truck. We have our EOG onboard air package, plumbing airlines directly to the wheel wells. We have our EOG vision system, which integrates front and side mirror cameras. We have our underbody lighting package, a paint protection film that was installed on this truck. We have our EOG premium cab acoustics package for sound deadening and our digital rear view mirror that's gonna allow you to see and use the rear view mirror even though the Bowen Customs garage is blocking the view. So you'll get to check out a good chunk of the build process of this truck and watching our clients see their truck for the first time. Nice to meet you. How are you, man? Good. Good. Love. Yep. Trixie and McLovin. Trixie and McLovin. Yep. Absolutely. Woo! Jeremy, how are you, man? I'm well, sir. How are you? Nice to actually get to meet you. Huh? Finally. Yeah. Finally. I did. Uh, Pups approve. I mean, it's pretty beautiful. Right? When you start loading the camper, that camera up there mm -hmm. will give you a, a really For good view up. of the front here. Mm -hmm. Then as it as you continue to back up, you'll kind of lose the view of it once the front of the camper gets right about here, but then you're on your sleeves. Yeah, once I'm there, I can mm -hmm. just bury it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. No 
like it. And then you have a wireless remote. So this is the wireless remote for the winch. Um, oh, for the tire drop down. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so I'll explain that on the other side. Mm -hmm. This will probably work, but just in case you don't use it for three or four years and this battery dies, mm -hmm. you have a hard mounted switch there, it's hardwired. So yeah, that's, that's what that is. So that's like the redundancy. It's the thing you're gonna stuff a dirt bike in there. <laughs> without the tire, yeah. Yep. I'm gonna find out. Yeah. Yeah, without the tire for sure. <laughs> the rear view camera system that we came up with and integrated, we finished it in like probably December is when we finished the final integration of it. Mm -hmm. You have it and it is kick ass. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you, you can't get a Ford with a, a digital rear view mirror. Like, oh, I know. You, you and I were talking about mm -hmm. that when we were making the order out. Yep. So. yep. so we've been working on it and, and you have it now and it's, it's very cool. So. Is that just uh, that's an airplane? Okay, is there one on the other side too? Yep, one on the other side. Perfect. Um, and then is, the ones in the front are on the are they in the wheel well or do I just run line up to the front? Run the line up to the front. Okay, perfect. These will be tight for probably a couple months. I like it. And then there's one in your rack for the other side. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. So this is like a pull down ramp for this tire. Yeah. It's, so, sorry. Right, you know, you're good. So ramp comes out, um, and then he gets set up on the other side. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So it's just on this side. But oh, so you take it out and put it over there. And there. Correct. Okay. Yep. Yep. So I'm from Canada. This little guy, he goes here. Mm -hmm. And the this one folds in half. We we can set it up if you want. So it's cool to you. You're never gonna do so much. What about fueling this thing? I saw in one of your videos you gotta put what do you put it down in low back or something? Because there's a long fuel tank in the line or whatever. You you probably will not have to in this, but sometimes with the blow trucks you don't have to. Okay. Um on the pickups the fuel fill is lower. Okay. So you the bed's four inches longer, so the fill is four inches. You have a four inch yeah, longer yeah. horizontal line, but you don't increase your vertical height. So sometimes you, you're sitting on concrete where the truck's like leaning towards the front, you'll have to drop the tail. But the bone trucks have the fuel higher, so you, you, don't, you don't have to worry about that. Um, we filled him up, we take fuel just fine. Okay. And these are all Baja designs now? Baja design lamps. Mm -hmm. We found a company that makes those uh, countersun Allen's. Uh, it, the bolt's titanium and they're anodized black. So like looks pretty sweet. Um, the whole thing looks good for sure. Not, not very nice. Right. Yeah, no, it's a great looking truck. Look. I'll bring you through all the... Nice. So, That's beneficial. <laughs> you will... You ever need to do anything under the truck? Like put it in high. You can sit under it, you know, almost cross-legged. You're pretty tall, but... Mm -hmm. uh, Put it in high, you want to do anything under the hood, put it in low. The top two are the air compressor fuses. The bottom one is the liquid stream fuse. Okay. With the air compressor fuses, we have not had anyone blow the fuses since we switched to all 3 8 line. ARB specs quarter inch line. But these are a little bit temperature sensitive, we've learned. So we started plumbing everything in 3 8 line and it seems the compressor doesn't work as hard. We haven't had it done blow at all. Um, but that's where they are. So randomly, the air compressor work could work in one. Let me know so we can refine our process. Yeah. Two, uh, these are the pieces for it. So when I take this off, I set this over in front of the Oh yeah, right? I watched all your videos. There is a keen access there. Where's the remote for it? Uh, from the truck. They always look good until you run them out, mm -hmm. and then you got a mess. I'm assuming that that's, that's, that's probably the first time or the second time after guys have been Yeah. So it hasn't been a stretch. Right. So, uh, we could maybe check it in a little while, but... Yeah, I, I can put a cross over here and pull it around. Uh, 
fuck shit ahead on Instagram. They're like 20 miles down the road. So what are you going to put in the back of it? And you're like an elephant. <laughs> of course. Then yep. you watch the video. Obviously. Dumbass. Yep. Probably 65. 65. Let's see what that is. Is that what you guys run for? Empty. Yeah. Empty. Yeah. With the bone bed, 65 in the rear, 65 in the front. Um, and you get even wear. Yep, that's where they're happy. Okay. When you're when you have your lance on here, I put them at eighty. Okay. Yep. If it feels a little bit too stiff, you could go down to like seventy five. Okay. And still be within spec. But so ox switch one, mm -hmm. that's gonna be what we believe is your most commonly used. It'll be your lowest lamp. So that's one, and then go ahead and turn one back on, and then hit two, so that's your light bar. Okay. Three is your corner lamps, so you can see it kicks yeah. all the way out. Mm -hmm. um, four is compressor, five is gonna be underbody, and then six is rear. Okay. Yep. So now if we turn all, go ahead, turn them all off, so now if we start with one, mm -hmm. then you go headlights, now go two. So that's basically your light pattern. We're a little bit off center right now. We're a little bit pointing to yeah. the left. But basically, if you just look at the height of them, if you kill two, I'll turn off your headlights. Now turn off one. So that's kind of the, the beam pattern in which it will throw light. Okay. So from your, when you have your light bar on, you're probably going to be right around like 14 1500 feet worth of uh, light emitting into the, into the night it's so like so. power only probably right for the light bar yeah. probably unless you're in the middle of nowhere uh, it's change color it's on okay, pretty cool. okay. Um, and then rear where we hit six when we walk back there they're bright yeah they're real bright like this your tailgate so light light your so tailgater light yeah yeah so when you hear him kick up like that in, in RPM. Yeah. He's either trying to do a regen, yeah. which is like def related, so he's trying to get the temperature hot enough to blow out yeah, sweat, blow it. Mm -hmm. or um, they do have like an active battery voltage monitoring system, so it can sense like its battery's a little low, so it's trying to idle higher to charge mm -hmm. batteries faster. Um, so don't be like alarmed if it randomly starts idling higher, that's what they do. So that jump in will run through suspension settings. So your ride comfort settings, mm -hmm. left side driver interface, mm -hmm. ride height settings are on the right side of the driver interface. Okay. On the comfort side, lowest, your comfort setting will be the uh, softest spring rates. It will allow for the most body roll. Um, Is that what you recommend to unload it on this pretty much. For, the, well, for the best ride? Comfort or, what? or normal. Mm -hmm. I would say it really depends on road condition, Okay. Um, but comfort most of the time. Comfort normal mm -hmm. sport okay so you can change these at any speed it doesn't on matter the fly, on the fly mm -hmm. yeah ride height adjustments normal mm -hmm. that's your driving position mm -hmm. um and it goes to that as soon as i go what 15 miles an hour correct. or whatever okay correct 15 so if you go low press it twice that'll lower it four inches okay from normal so think of this as like, again, truck unloaded. Loading the camper, I can back up on it mm -hmm. low. If I'm trying to get grandma in here or whatever, I can yep. bust it down. Yep, absolutely. Okay. And then if you press up all the way to high, so that, that'll raise it the full eight inches, okay. front and rear. So that's for flexing at 7-Eleven. Flexing at 7-Eleven. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, functional use like water crossings yeah like you have about 26 inches of, of ground clearance and high mm -hmm. so like it's pretty badass Why water can get in well is it just from freezing and no so, so there's you have a so here's your filter right there so see how it's like kind of a bright blue yep when it gets like kind of a translucent pink okay that means that it's time to replace it and this is a screw on screw off filter Right? Easy peasy. Huh? Easy peasy. And all this filter does 
is keep moisture out of this white plastic reservoir. Yeah. This is the only unpressurized oh, yeah, portion of, of the, the system. The section up top, mm -hmm. depending on where the fluid's yep. at. That yep. makes sense. Yep. Okay. Front bumper, our final iteration is crazy robust. Yeah. So like, you, you hit anything with this. Uh, it's gonna win? It's gonna win. Mm -hmm. It's gonna win. This is one reason why our, our 23 builds were delayed really substantially is the different iterations we were going through in the winch cradle. Um, if you like, look at our 22 trucks or our rams, the winch mounts inside the bumper mm -hmm. and then it's like a 3 16th plate all the way around. We wanted to have it be a standalone item that was bolted, mounted straight to the frame, all with grade 8 hardware that was independent of the bumper. So this is what sits underneath your bumper mm -hmm. right now. So solid 3 quarter inch steel, you yank it and bend it. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we never have to worry about that. Yeah, I hope so. And, and like Seems like a tank though, right? Oh yeah. And then these tires, they're, if you want to put that on the back, you just turn, take it off, turn it around. Take right? it off, spin it. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Jeremy, thank thanks so much. much. My pleasure, yeah, man. I appreciate it. it. Appreciate it. Give us a call. Right. Stay right, in touch. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. Yeah, for sure. I'll send you guys some shots once we get the camper in it here in the next couple days and as we run down. Maybe we'll be in golf court or golf shores or something. Yeah, sweet. Get awesome. a beach shot. Yeah, it's got all sorts of photos cool. for us. We appreciate it. Yeah, we'll send it over. Right Any and all. Yeah. Like the content. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 appreciate that, man. Thank you. What's up? Like seafood? No. No? I'm from Colorado, <laughs> man. Oh, we got right. seafood around. Right. Give me a beach. Everybody's a busy shit down there because I fish all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm the fisherman that doesn't eat fish. Oh, okay. All right. I just like them hooking in the middle of the like, okay, bye. I'm kidding. Where is We grow cows. That's it. Enjoy, man. And a pig every now and then. Call us after 100 miles. Let us know how you love it. All right, sounds good. Hey, I'll you know what? You should do ballet at the moment with Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you guys later. See, see ya. ya. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video and coming along in another delivery with us of this F550 Black Edition. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications every time we upload a new one. Don't forget to check out the merch shop, elevationoffgrid.com. We got hats, t-shirts, hoodies. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next one.